Whether you're saving up for a new device, so phone, laptop, accessories, or you're just trying to save up for some extra cash for those groceries, you'll oftentimes find that you need all the funds you can get. If you're just starting out in college, or you're a high school student who's older than 18, or even if you're out of college and just starting out your first year as an adult living in South Africa, then this video is for you. Hey, this is the Awareness Mate. And today I'll be sharing some of the top tier ways of saving up when you're a student living in SA on a tight budget. I'll include some cheat sheets that I personally use to optimize my cash. Now, keep in mind that these methods only work for a specific crowd of people and some are more generalized than others. This also isn't sponsored nor does it constitute financial advice. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. Let's get it started. Budget hack number one. The most obvious of these tips is working on your budget. Start with understanding the time period of your spend. So essentially understanding and identifying your money and how urgent it needs to go. An example of this would be paying for an ebook which you need this semester. The ebook has an annual discount at a specific time of month versus buying an actual physical book. Think about your wallet and then reconsider the choice. While you're making that purchase, cut any unnecessary costs and really prioritize what you need. Budget hack number two, use student discounts. This is the biggest money saver fall and using discounts doesn't mean you're poor. Take it as a symbol of goodwill and building your relationship with the company you're buying from. Unless it's a one-off purchase, then you absolutely should ask for a discount. Personally, as a student, I use an app called Varsity Vibe. Varsity Vibe provides a catalog of discounted shops for students. It can give you a discount anywhere from 5 to 10 and in some cases 50% worth of discounts which you can use or vouchers. You can either sign up for the freemium version which is free or their premium version which has the better discount. I think they're cool. I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. Budget hack number three. Create a savings account. Your bank will usually have some form of student savings account and if not, then pick one that suits your needs and has the lowest fees. Now, because we're in a slow recession of economy, I personally stopped using the bank's savings accounts. This is due to their very, very, very tiny interests. It really does not help me. So if you feel the same way, then the alternative would be to start using an investment platform or a brokerage platform. The one I use is called Easy Equities. Easy Equities is a South African owned investment platform owned by Purple Group and is widely known. There are plenty of other alternatives like Frank, but beyond that, I would advise for you to go out there and do your own research at your own risk. But yeah, I am with Easy Equities. I have been with them for a year now and their returns are pretty great. Basically, the whole principle with investments like these is time will pass no matter what. So why not just save up the little you can so that it can work for you? With Easy Equities, especially if you're a student, you can start investing from as little as 10 Rand and still get interest that is better than any other bank could give you in a month. And if you're interested in starting your investment journey with them let me know down in the comments and i'll make a separate step-by-step -step video on how you can start your investment journey on the platform they have their own youtube channel and i will try and put it down below for your convenience budget hack number four get a credit card i know what you're thinking i don't have money i don't work the only source of income i have is my family i'll have you know we are on the same boat. There isn't a hype on credit cards and 99% of the time students stick with their cash or debit cards and all that is fine. But credit cards are just there to assist you contrary to popular belief and I'm here to assist you as well. I am here to make you aware of things that are happening around you, hence the awareness mate. And this is me telling you that you can absolutely afford a credit card with nothing but just your allowance. Basically, if you're a South African student who is currently enrolled in a, in a university. What? Yeah, basically, if you're a student who is enrolled in any public university or private university that is in South Africa and you have an APSA, an existing APSA account, you need a minimum of 800 rands flowing through your APSA account. APSA will require you to, of course, have proof of enrollment and to have an existing product with them to qualify for an APSA student credit card. You get exclusive offers with their APSA rewards program, like cashback when you swipe for petrol at any Sasol, 
discounts at Pick and Pay and Food Lovers Market. You also get a 5% bolt discount every time you swipe and that depends on your tier. You get free vouchers almost every month. I recently got like a 50 Rand Nando's voucher for free. And if I'm not mistaken, these rewards can be more if you have a higher rewards tier. They also have uh, complimentary visits to their Bidvest Premier Lounge at the airport. Two hours on local flight and four hours international at the time of making this video. And because it is a Visa credit card, you not only get access to their APSA reward systems, but you also have access to Visa's exclusive deals, which means you can access these deals even when you're outside of the country. Visa have their own set catalogs of discounts you can access. And to name a few, one of them being a discount from buying tires at Tiger's Wheel. There is a whole wide range of benefits that you can get with just having this credit card that I will not get into. But on the off chance that you might want me to make a video on this, you would want to comment down below and let me know. Huh, that rhymes. Comment down below and let me know. Now all of that comes at no cost as long as you pay off your credit card in full every time you use it at the end of the month. Forget what Mark Cuban says about credit cards. He doesn't live in South Africa and he certainly is no student. There are no monthly fees to the student credit card provided by APSA, which makes this one of the most affordable credit cards or cards out there in general. You can get to grow or start your credit score as early as convenient. Now it is a credit card and just like any other credit card, you do have to be responsible. Debt is nothing to be taken lightly, but in the case that you do they do have a 57 day free interest period in which you don't have to pay any interest, which means there is no interest on your account while you are owing uh, T's and T's apply. What do you get with the debit card? Oh yeah, bank charges. Budget hack number five. While this might not be a budget hack, I feel it is a lot more important to practice caution and safety whenever you're signing your name for anything nowadays. Do not give it up easily and be aware of scammers. Question everything like the Gen Z's and use a method that I personally favor called I'll get back to you. This is very useful for when you're dealing with a persistent salesperson or if the deal sounds too good to be true. Then it probably is. Always fact check everything and if you can't do that, then ask someone who can to avoid any sort of danger or legal binding. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Share your own budget tips and stories and do let me know if I missed anything feel free to add it in the comments below. If you haven't watched the previous video, link here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.